processing grief and celebrating life. That is what's happening right now as a small town says goodbye to 17 year old Elijah DeWitt. This video shows hundreds piling into the arena at Jefferson High School where Elijah's funeral is just getting underway. Elijah was a standout football player at Jefferson High with his whole life ahead of him. But he was shot and killed exactly a week ago outside Sugarloaf Mills Mall in Gwinnett County. Two other teens are already in custody. They are charged with his murder. I'm Rick Fulbaum. And I'm Sean Gables. Tonight, Elijah's memory is being honored not only by loved ones, but by an entire community. Atlanta News First, Rachel Aragon, live at Jefferson High School. That's about 60 miles from Atlanta on this very difficult evening. And Rachel, you're not in the service, out of respect for the family, but what did you hear from those close to Elijah? Sean, Rick, that is correct. We are set up just outside of school out of respect for the family and the school community, but it's a small town. I can tell you it seems as that everyone here from the town seems to be at this service. What a difference, though, an hour makes. We can tell you now it's hard to tell, though, but you can see from my perspective the entire parking lot filled with cars and now you're seeing them parked along the street for the six o'clock funeral for a very beloved high school senior. Students I talked to as well community members, they say they're remembering Elijah for his smile. Students say he was a star wide receiver at Jefferson High School, but today I also learned he played basketball as well. Today his classmates are reflecting on the athlete who shined. They say both on the field and in the classroom. Sadly, the team was shot and killed walking out of a Dave & Buster's at Sugarloaf Mill Mall a week ago today. Driving around Jefferson today, though, they were clearly signs up around town in memory of the team. The Jefferson community is taking this loss very hard. Those who knew him say he never hesitated to help people in this area. If you had a problem, he would try to help you. You know what I'm saying? So that's why everybody's so torn up here in Jefferson because don't we don't understand why. I think the amount of cars we're seeing here is just a true testament to how loved Elijah was. We were also told earlier the arena, though, that's hard to tell from here, holds around 2,200 people. And again, Atlanta News first talked to Elijah's parents last week, and they say they want people to remember not how Elijah passed, but of course, how he lived his life. Free life in Jefferson. Rachel Aragon, Atlanta News first. Rachel